This is a tutorial for Elastina Implicit. I'm going to show you portion of the course that we teach online uh, at uh, elastina-online.com. So this course is an eight hour course. The schedule is as follows. Uh, there are lectures and breaks in between, and there is an optional workshop that follows uh, uh, the course, which is hands-on. So um, I'm going to show you one of the chapters here and this constitute a tutorial for Steiner implicit as well. Uh, so basically we want to activate the implicit solver. Um, there is only one card necessary to activate the implicit solver and that card is star control implicit general. That's the only card which is mandatory to activate the implicit solver. We simply need a flag I am flag to be equal to one, and that would be an implicit calculation. And then we need an initial uh, time integration or a time step. If we have only this card, then this time step will be constant throughout um, the simulation. There are other implicit control cards within Elastina, which are optional. Normally we need this, these cards either for specific implicit calculation or we need some of these cards when we have difficulty converging and the problem is large and difficult to converge so for example star control implicit auto you activate automatic time step control without this the time step will be constant there is also star control implicit solution and star control implicit solver uh, these control cards normally are needed when you have convergence uh, problems uh, to, sub to set or change some of the tolerances. Uh, otherwise, all the default values will be taken if these cards are not uh, activated. In general, when we run an implicit calculation, the screen will look like this. So a time, time step size, and then you have iteration one through whatever. And you're going to see the displacement tolerance and the energy tolerance, uh, which is which gives you progress of the run. As an example, um, I selected this large, relatively large model, which is basically a truck uh, constrained at the back, and then you have this rigid uh, pole, which is basically given prescribed motion to. Uh, deform this truck. The input file for this uh, problem uh, looks like this. So I have start control implicit general. There is the IM flag set to one, which is implicit calculation. And then there is the time step. So the initial time step is one. However, start control implicit auto is active, which means any times we have convergence problems, the time step will be reduced. Anytime we have easy converging, the time step size will be increased. Star control implicit solution normally is a must when you have a difficult problem like this one because you're going to, for example, change and relax the tolerance. That's a displacement tolerance. The default is one over a thousand. I'm relaxing it to three over a thousand because otherwise I'll have difficulty converging for this problem. Also, the um, n solver is set to 2, which is the default nonlinear solver. The um, I limit set to 5, which is the maximum iteration per matrix deformation, provided that you don't get uh, a divergence. And then the maximum reformation is for the stiff, tangential stiffness matrix is, is 11. So I already run this problem uh, uh, partially. Let's see the uh, results. Um, so if we run this problem, we're going to see something like this. If we want more information written to the screen, we can always do control C uh, and then um, input uh, N L print. That will give us more information about the nonlinear uh, iterative solver. If we put L print is going to be more information about the linear solver. So if we do that, we can see that uh, there is the uh, iteration progress uh, of the problem. So let's look at the partial results that we have. 
just to see how it looks uh, so we see here that um, there's the deformation of the truck due to uh, the prescribed motion.